CISML Parametric Simulation Using Open Metallica and Enterprise Architect 13. The objective of this webinar is to learn how to use a CISML model created in Enterprise Architect 13 and Metallica to plot a simulated lunar landing. Plot variations of the simulation and then compare and contrast the results. We'll take a look at the underlying CISML model in Enterprise Architect to better understand how it works. The goal is to simulate a lunar landing. For this example we are plotting a lunar module landing on the moon using two rockets with two different thrusts. When landing a lunar module two key variables help to determine the best outcome. These variables include the time that the rocket is used and the corresponding thrust of each rocket. So let us simulate this by plotting various factors being calculated in the model such as the altitude change as the lunar module descends, the thrust of the two rockets, the change in gravity on approach to the moon, and the overall change in velocity. Switching to Enterprise Architect, let's take a look at a completed example. Select Manage SysML from the Simulate ribbon. Find any relevant SysML configuration artifacts. Select your desired simulation artifact, which in this case is called Rocket. The Configure SysML simulation window is used to run and configure simulations. Select what you'd like to plot, for example, the altitude of the lunar module. When you're ready, click the Solve button in order to generate the plot. The plot shows the altitude falls from 60 kilometers above the moon's surface, but rather than being linear, the craft slows the rate of descent once it reaches 10 kilometers high. Now let's view the change in thrust over the same period. This plot shows the thrust of the two rockets over time. Next thing we're going to have a look at is mass. As fuel is consumed, the mass of the lunar module will decrease. So let's take a look at that plot. This shows the change in mass as the fuel is consumed. Now let's take a look at gravity. So we can also plot the change in gravity over time. In this instance, as time passes, the decreasing altitude shows increasing gravity. And finally we can take a look at velocity. So we can observe the change in velocity over time. So what is behind the simulation and how does it work? To find out more we're going to examine the SysML model and the corresponding Medallica script. The simulation uses a number of mathematical formulas which I will introduce now. For a rocket travelling to the moon the following physics formula can be applied. For altitude, velocity and acceleration we need the following parameters to be calculated. The purpose of this webinar is not Physics 101, but it is important to know that we can use Open Metallica to capture and use these attributes to plot a simulation. To track a change in gravitation with respect to altitude, we need attributes such as the gravity and mass of the moon. All of these parameters are fixed and can be easily inputted into a formula. To ensure that we have a smooth landing, we need to apply two different thrusts. We can use these formulas to conduct a simulation and showcase that plot in Enterprise Architect. How can a formula be applied using Medallica in the SysML model? Let's take a brief look at the moon landing parametric model to see how it's done in Enterprise Architect. The block definition diagram references the formula in the constraint blocks. This is a reference to the constraint block. 
Let's view the constraint in more detail. You might recognize some of the parameters from the formulas that I just introduced. Open the constraint to view the details. Here is the source of the Medallica mathematical expression. When we zoom in, we can see the gravity formula that I outlined previously. The formula is applied in the blocks parametric diagram. Here is the referred formula in the parametric model. One of the advantages of using Enterprise Architect is the ability to vary your simulations using different data sets. Let's simulate two variations in the main rocket's thrust. One of the advantages of using Enterprise Architect is the ability to vary your simulations using data sets. Access a data set in the SysML Sim model. Let's simulate two variations in the main rocket's thrust. Access the data in the SysML model. The data set is defined here under declarations. Uh, you'll note a number of parameters including force 1, force 2, the mass of the moon. All of these parameters are listed. Let's duplicate this set of declarations and open it for editing. We can set the variation in the value column. Let's change the first rocket force. This allows us to plot the same simulation with two different rocket forces, allowing us to compare and contrast results. Now we need to select what we're going to plot, so we're going to plot the altitude of the Apollo craft, change the data set and press solve. The result this time indicates that we miss the moon by 20,000 metres, which is less than ideal for a moon landing. The previous example showed one variation on one graph using a copied data set. By increasing the force from 36,350 to 46,350, we miss the moon by 20,000 metres. Now let's plot all variations on one graph. To set this up, you create a new SysML block with properties referencing the main moon landing block. Each property will provide its own set of values to plot. First we need to create a new block for the simulation. Now create properties that reference the moon landing block. I can simply drag and drop the moon landing block as shown on screen. Now use this to simulate multiple plots on the one graph. Returning to our simulation view, set the new block as the SysML Sim model. Here are the three parts that we've created. To create a data set for the moon landing test, set the main block starter as default. Now create a copy of the default data set. Now let's set or edit some new values. For the first plot, I'm going to increase the first rocket's thrust. In other words, I'm going to increase the value of force 1 from 36,350 to 46,350. I'm going to leave the second plot as default. The third plot, I'm going to set a lower value for force 1. Now set your simulation. Select your new data set. Select the three altitude plots, part 1, 2 and 3, to be shown on the one graph. Simply select the appropriate checkboxes. 
Now press the Solve button to run the simulation. This plot allows you to compare three lunar module landings with different thrusts applied. The variations are plotted in three different colours. Part 2, represented by the blue line, lands safely, and Part 3 has a negative altitude, or in other words, it crashed. Part 1, shown in red, misses the moon by 20,000 metres due to too much thrust being applied. The chart allows us to compare and contrast all three landings. In complex systems engineering situations such as a moon landing, it is much more cost effective and safer to test the impact of parameter changes using simulation in Enterprise Architect. This example showed how a small change in thrust can have a critical impact on mission success. The webinar also showed how a complex mathematical formula can be plotted using Open Medallica. For more information about Open Medallica, SysML, or Parametric Simulation, or Enterprise Architect 13, visit www.sparksystems.com.